antenna, and uh, it's for bridge-to-bridge -bridge communication. It's broken, so we gotta fix this one right now. We'll worry about uh, inspecting the rest of them when we get in port. We went through some bad seas, 20 footers. You were there. It's real windy. I don't know what how fast the wind was, like 60 knots, it seemed like. But it's a lot of our preventive maintenance. Usually during every import to come and do this anyhow, but sometimes it doesn't last. Sometimes the equipment just breaks on us. So I'm gonna go clean it up with some uh, isopropyl alcohol right here, get all the corrosion off, and then reseal it back up until we get a new antenna. Right here we got weatherproofing. Every little connector we have on, on these antennas, you can see we have over 50 antennas up here. Every one of them has connections that can get weathered and start corroding. Electronics will stop working, the uh, RF wants to get through the lines after that, so pretty much every import. Come up here and slice the weatherproofing off, put a new coat on it, nice fresh seal. And then check also, check the connectors when you're pulling them apart, make sure there's no corrosion. There is, try to clean it up. Sometimes you can't and it's beyond. You have to replace some cables and connectors. They're inspecting all the antennas right now. They're taking pictures, uh, serial numbers, model numbers, because we have a dry dock coming up in about five, five six months, something like that. They're going to do a uh, whole uh, mast overhaul. So they're going to need, they're going to replace all the antennas, all the cable before our out of hemisphere deployment. As you can see, we got lots of antennas up here. We got over a hundred piece, different pieces of equipment down below. Yeah, you gotta grab onto uh, stanchions when you can and kind of wrap your leg around the mast. I mean, however you feel comfortable getting up there. And usually I'm hugging that mast on the way up, grabbing, wrapping a harness around and disconnecting this arm, finishing it up. So it's a little nerve wracking up there. Standard climbing harness. We got a couple of, we got a static line right here. In case you fall, it'll, uh, it'll break your fall. This thing will stretch out to about six feet and slow you down as you hit. Just two other standard uh, lanyards right here, right on the belt line right here, just keep me secure so I can lean back and concentrate on what I'm doing with my hands instead of having to hold on to the mat and work with one hand. It's a little easier like this. Every once in a while, an anomaly will hit. Equipment will break. That's why we're here, though. <laughs> 